everyone and welcome to another episode of the Match Betting Chronicles. So today's video as you can probably tell is about tennis trading and at the moment there's an absolutely epic match between Djokovic and Nadal. Nadal was won the first set and then he actually broke Djokovic in the second set I believe but Djokovic has fought back to win the second set. So at one set all, I decided to lay Djokovic with £100 and take £78 risk. Um, and I did this because Nadal's favourite service is the, the surface is the French. And I just thought he's, he's got a decent chance here. Um, now what I also did was I laid Djokovic in the outright market so I put 152 pounds against Djokovic outright now if I trade out now I can lock in a profit of 51 pound no matter who wins and what I might what the best thing to do now might be because is to uh, lock in this profit and then I can let pretty much let this bet ride because Nadal has just won the third set he's up a set but this match could still go either way every game looks looks to be um tough here no one is holding their service easily at the moment so it's it's not impossible that Djokovic wins the next two sets so if i was to lock in this uh this profit here then I'm not actually risking that much on this game maybe about 27 quid or something uh, but if I decide to do nothing I could lose um, both these bets the 78 pound today and eventually I could lose 215 on Djokovic if I left that because if Djokovic does win this match then you'd expect him to uh, to win the whole tournament basically I think the winner of this match probably wins the tournament so um, yeah I mean I, I just took my opportunity I, I wasn't around for the, the whole of this match by the time I got home today it was it was almost time for the third set so that's why I've managed to get in when when I did but I just saw a couple of service games and it looks like a great match. Okay, so this match has now finished and I've made some decent profit, but I did not execute the plan of action that I was talking about. And I've been really lucky here because I've been really undisciplined. Um, and I've got to address the fact that in play trading, I'm not disciplined enough. The pre-game trading market, I'm very, I do that very well, and I'm really disciplined. But I think in play, when you watch the game, it can affect your your decisions. And I've got to get better at just locking in the profit, because on another day, I could have lost some big money here. And I'll, I'll show you what's happened. So when the doll won the third set that's when I could have traded out on um, which market am I showing you I could have traded out on this market okay the the outright winners market on the men's so I laid Djokovic at odds of 2.42 and at that point I could have traded out and locked in about 50 pound profit that was my plan and then on this market, I really thought Nadal would win, which he did. But I'd have only been risking about £28 then if I executed that plan. But I thought in my wisdom that I'm going to wait to see how this fourth set goes. Maybe if, if Nadal starts quite well, then I can lock in even more profit okay and that's that's what I thought I would do now that didn't go to plan at all because Djokovic very quickly broke Nadal so 
he went three games up to love. And at this point, if I go back to this market, I now couldn't trade Djokovic out without taking a loss. And I think it was like 30 or 40 pound loss at that point if I traded out. And also on the on the match on the match market, Nadal versus Djokovic. If I'd have traded out, I'd have been taking about ten pound loss on that as well. So it wasn't a good position, and it was really silly of me to allow. You know, I was in a strong position to allow a good position where I'm in front to turn into to a losing position was really undisciplined. Um, so at that point, maybe I should have traded out for the loss. But at the end of the day, Nadal was still in the match. You know, you're still leading. And um, I thought, obviously, it looked like Djokovic was going to win that fourth set. And I thought, let's just see how Nadal starts the fifth set. And then if he starts badly, I'll trade out. But if he starts well, I can sort of stay in and then I'll get my winning position back. Now, in hindsight, that was that's a bit silly because say if Nadal, if Djokovic won this fourth set and then quickly broke Nadal again, I'd have had to trade out for quite a large loss, you know. And um, at one point, it was looking like that was going to happen. It looked like Djokovic was going to win this fourth set. Um, and I'm, I'm just kicking myself at this point. I'm thinking, why didn't you lock in your profit? I mean, what are you thinking? Djokovic is the best player in the world. Why don't you take the winning position rather than wait for him to come back? And then the other side of my brain is thinking, yeah, but Nadal is the, you know, he's the best on clay. That's why. So I'm fighting with myself here. But in the end, it, I just thought to myself, it seems like a gamble rather than trade at this point. You know, I did a good trade. I had a good plan of action. But then it's turned into a bit of a gamble. And that's not what this should be about. Um, anyway, luckily for me, Nadal broke Djokovic. Okay, so... Um, Djokovic was leading 5-3. All of a sudden, Nadal breaks him to make it 5-4. And now we're in a good position again. I can actually trade out for a little bit of profit. But once again, I don't take any action. I'm thinking, right, Nadal swung the momentum here. It looks like he's playing well. Um, we'll see if Nadal can hold his serve, which he does. And eventually it goes to a tie break. And again, I'm undisciplined because now I can trade out for quite a bit of profit. But if Djokovic wins that that tie break or starts well, then I'm back to square one. I'm, I'm having to trade out for a loss again. So um, I was undisciplined. And you know, luckily for me, Nadal started very well in the tie break. And I was able to trade out for, uh, I'll just show you what I did. Um, here we are. So I ended up trading out of this at odds of 78. You know, I, I laid Djokovic at 1.79. And I only needed to, in the end, put a pound on, pound 15, to trade out and lock in some, lock in 98 pound, 89, 85 profit. And on this market, the outright market, I traded out when Djokovic was odds of 40, just with £8.59 after I'd laid 152 stake. And that was just in case Djokovic started coming back in the, the tiebreak. I didn't want to take the chance. But I think I should have done that a lot earlier. And you can see what's happened now. Now that Nadal has uh, knocked out Djokovic, Nadal is the overwhelming favourite to win the tournament at odds of 1.55.
So if Djokovic had beaten Nadal, Djokovic would be in this position and probably shorter odds, maybe 1.3, 1.4. And I'd have been forced to trade out because, like I said earlier, whoever wins this match is probably going to win the tournament. So imagine, you know, I've, I've laid Djokovic at 2.42 and now I have to trade out at odds of 1.4. That's going to be a massive loss. And I could show you what that is. With a £152 stake. And lay odds of 2.42. I'd have had to back with a £262 stake. And that would have guaranteed me a £110.74 loss. So that that's that's mad, you know, to to risk that. I really should have been much more disciplined, and uh, that's that's something I've got to work on, because um, I've got to get better at in play trading. But like I said, you know, I'm I'm watching the match. Nadal looked very good. I mean, he he did lose. He did get broken early in the in the fourth set. But I felt he was unlucky, and I think that affected my decision making. Um, anyway, guys, uh, I've hope you learned something from this video. Don't be like me. Just if you're in a good position, lock in your profit. Maybe even underlay. Just you know, you can still make some some good profits. You don't have to stay in as long as I did. Um, at the end of the day, I've come out of this with what about two hundred and forty pound profit um, because yeah on on this market it, it's already settled I've I've got 143 pound 42 whoever wins the tournament now um, but if I was disciplined that figure would have been about 50 pound and this figure here would have you know I'd have stayed in it would have been 98 pound 84 still decent profit and a lot less heartache you know i was i was sweating a bit during during that match and there was really no need could have had an easier ride and got 90 pound less profit but would have been much safer so hopefully that's a lesson for you guys and hopefully it's a, a lesson for me as well to improve my in play trading anyway um let me know your thoughts on that and uh thanks very much for listening